For CB, Joe Keys, who has been a title contender. Oh, oh God. Following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit, and it is for the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Championship. Take you back to 2008, training at WWWA Ooh. under Mr. Hughes. Both of these men yeah. started their careers there. Jonathan Gresham was an advanced pupil. He helped teach Fred Yehai and learn the ropes down in Atlanta. Of course, the pure rules, you get three rope breaks. Once you exhaust three, you can be pinned, submitted, under, between, or on, or in the ropes. You get one close fist to the face. That's a warning. Second is a disqualification. Oh. Okay, he just Picks got the ankle. Yeah, he's of course, 20 seconds on the outside. The title can change hands on countouts and disqualifications. And these have 60-minute time limits. These are two pure wrestlers that they, they're playing chess when they're in the ring. And nobody does it like these two. Well, Mike Bennett, I got I to gotta point it to you. Both of these men, they've won all of their matches in Ring of Honor with different moves or holds. Right. How do you even game plan for something like that? I don't know if you can. I think it's one of those things where you try to look for weaknesses. Whoa! OK. I think that's been a lot of the uh, advantage that a lot of the pure wrestlers has had over guys. Wait a minute. Like, oh, two! Like you transitioning from the pro wrestling to the pure wrestling. And I think I proved in that gauntlet that, that I can hold my own. Definitely. Wins over CB, Joe Keys, who has been a title oh. contender. Oh, God. Preventing Yehai from grabbing a hold of that arm. Those gauntlet matches are no joke, too. So know that Fred went through one of those. That adds a different element to this. That toughens you up. That makes you ready. Almost like Gresham's going against his game plan yeah. here. Well, it's, it's like Gresham versus Gresham. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, hip, look at, hip toss both go up and over, both on their feet. On the outside, side oh, headlock take over on the still. outside. Bruh. This is spy versus spy. Mirror images of one another. Sometimes you keep your eye on the opponent because you think they're going to try something sneaky. They kept that eye on each other to see who's going to move first. Yes. It's a big difference. Hip toss, powers out. Gresham, Gresham's frustrated. Hip toss blocked. It's Gresham looking for another. And it's Yehai. And it is Yehai trying to dump Gresham over. Gresham blocks it. I don't know if there's so much going Ooh. for something. Oh. oh, God. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. A little frustration yep. there. Gresham's kind of put this entire division on his back. So every match he goes out there knowing he's representing an entire division. But that's something he's been willing to do yeah. because in his head he's failed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look now at this that. is getting dirty. Grinding the yeah. wrists and yeah. the forearms. Now, now th that's as dirty as it gets in the pure division. It's, it's painful, but it's more annoying, too. Nice drop down, and yay oh. oh, God, right to the back of the head, and now the spine. Uh-huh. Oh, and look at body shots. Body shots are illegal. Whoa! Oh, around the throat. Around the throat. Waist lock. Nobody home. Rolls back. Rolls through. It's Yehai. Trying to roll Gresham. Two. Now, here's the thing here. Who can work under pressure and under frustration? Is Yehai going to continue to wrestle Gresham, or is Gresham going to get frustrated and start fighting? Step over counter. Stacks him. One. Two. Rolls and flips him through. Both, wow. Both ankles pressing down on the shoulders. I thought Yehai would have had him there. Drop kick, nobody home. It's Yehai. Look for the coaching clutch. He's moved out of the way of the coaching clutch. Slipped out of it. Side headlock, but grabs the wrist into a hammerlock here. Gresham finds the neck. Finds the neck of Yehai, able to slip out of the hammerlock. Steps over, looking for the covert twist. It's a torque that he's trying to get, but those arms are not letting loose. I don't know how many people realize how much energy it takes to kick out of all those pins. Too. Wow. People Take might see them as, oh, they're just pinfalls, but every every kick out. Two! Right there. You know, as somebody on a television championship or a world title, you could prepare for them because you're like, oh, they do this, they do that. You can't prepare for somebody like Gresham who doesn't have a defensive finisher. Or Yehai as we see right. sweeps the leg. We know he likes the Koji clutch. Downward but force of yeah. Yehai forcing Gresham to use anything he can, including the the crown of the head trying to get it under the neck to put pressure, but it's Yehai who's able to bend Gresham down. Gresham, though, able to stay on his toes and bridge. And pressing out 200 pounds through the hips that time. Yep, the, the power that it takes to do that, the core strength, the neck strength that it takes to do that, it's hard to even explain. Ooh, nice. turns it inside out. I don't care how strong you are, that hurts. Oh, in the corner, Gresham, now with a clean break. Up and over. Oh, look at that. Picks wow. the leg. Picks the leg. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Arm drag, counter by Yehai into the head. Scissor catches him. One, trapped it. two. It's a trap. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Same thing he beat Lethal with. So not only does Fred Yehai know Gresham, he studies Gresham. Arm drag. 
Captures, rolls through. Trapped. Has him! Two! Trapped. Three! Yep. The winner of this match, and still, Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion, Jonathan Crypto! At 10 finishers. 10 and 0 in the Pure Division. And now it is crystal clear. Mike Bennett, you know who you have a date with coming up on Sunday, July 11th, in front of a raucous crowd yeah. at the UFBC Event Center. Jonathan Gresham will defend the Pure Championship against Mike Bennett.